Yeah, they really, like you said, they they have the future of fighters in their hands. You know, with the rankings and stuff, which I think is stupid that you guys are going to get paid as far as rankings are concerned for the Reebok deal because the rankings are as stupid as the judges are because the rankings are the same thing. You know, the guys in the media are going to vote for who their buddies are, right? And Exactly. Yeah, so uh, this guy's been nice to me. He comes on the show, so let's bump him up. And then now comes into the salary. But, like, you know, is it just pure stupidity? Is there, like, a little bit of corruption, stupidity, malice? Is it politics? Because we hear, well, that guy won because he's friends with, he's friends with Connor. And this guy won because it's just so freaking frustrating. Somebody that bets on the sport... I just, I hold my breath, man, when they announce the decisions now. Yeah, you know, it, it's all of the above. It's not just shady people. It's shady, stupid. Uh, like, yeah, there's, there's, you know, all kinds of situations. You know, even, even look at boxing. I, I'm, I'm a huge boxing fan. And, and me and my dad were watching, you know, the last, uh, the heavyweight title fight that just happened at the MGM. And... Adelaide Bird is still judging. <laughs> like that corrupt piece of shit is still in Don King's pocket. She's still judging. How is that possible? Like, you're a bad person. You're making money. Like it's so obvious what she's doing. And it's like you know, and that's that's you know, I don't think she's ever judged MMA, but it, it's it's just crazy. And you know, it's it, it, it's the human condition. People are shitty, and they're always going to be. You know, we're never going to have this perfect thing where everyone's nice and, you know, does what they're supposed to do. It's just how it works. So you have to just bite the bullet and deal with it. Uh, you were in conversation with Uncle Creepy Ian McCall. Uh, you mentioned John Jones. Ian. One of the reasons why I'm such a big fan of yours, and I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends are big fan of yours, because we're the same type of guys. We're real guys. We, you know, we make mistakes. We've done things. Yeah. We put things in our body we shouldn't have. I'm a degenerate gambler. Like, I still make mistakes every freaking day. I do stupid things. And I, I sort of do it in the public as well. But your life, man, has just been an open book, uh, you know, for everybody. Has that been tough? Was it tough for you at first? Because you seem to embrace it now in which, you know, and I'm not calling out John Jones. I, I admitted on the show two weeks ago, I've done cocaine. I'm not throwing, you know, like I said, if you live in a grass, you know, in a glass pipe, you don't throw rocks. So I'm not, I'm not throwing <laughs> rocks at anybody, but I didn't like the whole, ah, oh, you know, I did it once and, ah, oh, and it swept under the carpet, $25,000 fine. You know, you've made mistakes and you're open about it. You tell kids, this is what I did. Don't do that because it's a bad toxic combination. Yeah, you know, it, it's pretty obvious. John likes to party, like, you know, like, so the guy had a good time. Uh, I look at the fact that he, he was doing blow less than a month before his title fight against one of the other baddest people on the planet. Like, he's a psychopath. He's a savage. Like, my hat's off to him for being able to pull that off. Um, and he, he fought Cormier. He beat him at his own game. So it's, it, it's uh, people make mistakes, and you're dealing with fighters. Okay, uh, sure, I've done copious amounts of cocaine. Um I don't do it anymore, but, you know, maybe I will one day. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> it, 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 it's like it, it, was, it was never my cup of tea in the first place. But um, the guy screwed up, but they just to, like, tarnish him so much. And it was pointless. Like, what, what, was, the, what was the purpose behind that besides making him look stupid? You know, and, and I don't even like John Jones that much. Like, I'm starting to like him more now that the fake persona is gone and that he's actually, like, me and him had a conversation a long time ago about the same sort of thing. Like, be real, you know? And, and uh, I like that it's coming out that he's a douchebag, that he is, you know, but he's always pushing buttons and he does what he wants. And, you know, it's, it's like, the whole thing is, it's, it's entertaining to me. <laughs> and, uh, he wasn't going to leave him alone, whatever. He made a mistake. Let him, you know, he, he did 25 Gs, which I know is nothing to him. But, you know, and he gets his name, you know, thrown in the mud a little bit. But, um... Uh, that situation's stupid. Yeah, you know, and like you said, everyone's suddenly holier than now. A bunch of MMA scumbags in the media. Oh, how dare he do this? How, how dare yeah. he? I mean, listen, I don't think Chuck Liddell would be offended by me saying right now, the guy was the ultimate badass and the ultimate partier, man, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's, you know some of you guys are like rock stars, right? I mean, this, it's going to be a lifestyle choice, and this, stuff, this stuff's going to happen. 
we got to wrap it up in a couple of minutes, unfortunately, here already, in. But, you know, back to the fight here with John. John seems like a freaking psychopath. You know I mean? The guy, he seems like, seems like a nut job. But there seems to be some respect going in here. He knows you didn't go all the way to Brazil, lose your luggage, and spend, you know, four days of your life in hell not to fight right now. So uh, how, how excited are you right now? Because this looks like an eliminator to me, man. You're right there. I want to see you get another shot. Lineker's a badass, and I think a win against him looks pretty damn good on your resume. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's kind of what I, what I <clears throat> want to portray to people, is that I went down there sick. I trained for the last month of my camp sick. I made weight sick. I was up sweating every single night, which actually kind of helped my weight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to choke the hell out of you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm calling and I'm going to submit him because his jiu-jitsu sucks and I might as well get it over as quick. Uh, but, you know, he's, he, everyone knows he's a one-trick pony. He hits hard. I mean, it's, it's quite a trick he's got. It's a big, you know, he's walking around with a big, big stick. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple fight. I just can't let him hit me. Um, you know, and, and it, it's title eliminator, eh, I doubt it. You know, I, I think even if I go out there and I school him, I finish him, you know, with a knockout or submission, whatever, and everyone's impressed, they're still going to slight me. You know, they, they don't seem to like Demetrius, but I think they like me even less. Um, so bring on, I'll do the Cowboy Cerrone, and I'll beat up every <laughs> in the division uh, until they have to give me a shot. You know, I'll go fight Horiguchi after this, or I'll fight, uh, you know, Jussier again, or I don't care. You know, like, I just want to fight. I need to make money. I got a mouth to feed. I got a life to live. And, and, and if I get a title shot after this, that would be wonderful. Uh, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Ian McCall uh, with us. Uh, Ian, unfortunately, we got to wrap it up uh, here, man. I wish we had uh, more time, but I'd love to do it again. I wish you the best of luck in this fight, man, and uh, hope you feel better. But maybe maybe feeling like shit will actually help you, man. Take out some frustrations uh, on John Lineker. Thanks for the time, Uncle Creepy. No worries, man. Anytime. There's uh, Ian McCall with us. Man, I really enjoyed that. But, uh, hey, you know, we don't have enough time. we got to wrap things up uh, here. MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues. That about wraps up another edition of MMA Meltdown. If you're tuning in for the first time, we hope uh, you enjoyed the show. Thanks to uh, Uncle Creepy Ian McCall for joining us on the program. I know it sounded like uh, he was in a wind tunnel or something like that, but hey, it is uh, what it is, man, and we were glad to get him on the program. Great stuff uh, with him, just like we're going to wrap up uh, this program uh, with a great uh, video submitted by uh, Sergeant Slaughter here at the Fight Network. Um, you know, he just told me, Marenzi, I got a great video. It's Japanese wrestling. And it's a uh, blow-up sex doll. So I was like, yeah, I'm good. So uh, other than that, you're on your own. さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、さあ、